Good day. Today we're looking at the impact of not allowing people like you and I are not allowed to take ourselves quietly out of group chats without anyone else being able to see that we've left. And I think that's a, a, it's a huge issue. Um, so much so many lose sleep. Um, and it goes even further. I don't want to belittle it in any way. But not allowing people to quietly leave group chats without others noticing can create a sense of entrapment or, or discomfort for individuals, especially on social media platforms like Facebook groups, uh, WhatsApp groups, uh, etc. You know, and it generally leads to negative impacts. Uh, one that I can easily associate with is the pressure to stay. You know, members of the group feel obligated to remain in chats they're no longer interested in. Out of fear of offending others, especially the group owner, or sparking drama when their exit is noticed. Another issue that I can also relate to that often uh, associates this issue um, is anxiety and, uh, and overwhelm. In large or highly active group chats, some people may feel overwhelmed by constant notifications, but hesitate to leave if they know everyone will be notified. This can cause stress or contribute to digital burnout. I also conclude with this third point that it's an invasion of privacy. Uh, people like myself may want to leave quietly due to personal reasons such as mental health, or wanting space, publicly announcing our exit or my exit can feel intrusive or even awkward. And there's also a, an increased social pressure that this um, issue, you know, um, generates. It, it just makes it so pressure tight for you and I when exits are visible. Social media becomes more about managing perceptions with people potentially staying in groups for appearances rather than personal interest. And I think that's so wrong, so wrong. And then there's hostility or misunderstanding. Publicly showing when someone leaves a group can lead to misunderstanding. You know, I, I don't know any else or what else i can say it also leads to conflict with other group members wondering why you left or why i left and potentially confronting us and that can't be um, allowed no way in contrast allowing quiet exits provides users like you and i with more control over our social experience contributing to a healthier less pressured online environment and to address the discomfort in case the host and all those who are associated with this issue um outline that oh well we don't know what else to do uh well to address this discomfort of leaving group chats publicly platforms like facebook um whatsapp you know and other messaging apps they have actually implemented or could implement several more options or solutions. And I know that the this this is on, on the agenda of, of the commis commissioner even. It's a government, um, there's a government plan to fix this, you know, uh, and um, I'm sure, I'm sure I would be opportune to mention it at some point. I'm just looking for it. Um, yeah, um, I think it's Dame Melanie is saying or doing something at the moment. She's the chief executive officer of uh, Ofcom. And she's been active, you know, in several areas regarding this issue. And she is stating that this has to be highlighted and given proper attention. Okay, so to address the discomfort of leaving group chats publicly, platforms and messaging apps, um, are implementing or are to implement several solutions. Solutions like silent exit option. Some platforms like the ones I've mentioned, WhatsApp and 
uh, Facebook have introduced the option to leave a group chat silently where only admins are notified of the departure, preventing the rest of the group from knowing. Of course, this reduces the pressure of visible exit while still keeping some level of admin oversight. You also have notification, mute or disable options on these platforms. Many platforms offer muting of notifications, an option to mute notifi notifications even from group chats without having to leave, which allows users to disengage from overwhelming conversations while still, still being a part of the group. Message preview settings. Some apps allow users to limit message previews or reduce notifications to avoid being overwhelmed without necessarily leaving the group. And then, of course, you have temporal exit or ghost mode, introducing a temporary, temporary exit feature where users can leave for a period without being removed permanently, or a ghost mode where they can appear offline could allow people to step away without it being too obvious, okay? You also have graceful exit messages. Some platforms have implemented neutral exit messages like user has left the chat without any further indication. While this still makes the exit visible, it reduces the personalization of the departure, lowering the social tension, which is key, okay? Then you have admin control over exits, giving group admins the ability to um, control who sees exit notifications or allowing users to request uh, an exit through admins could help manage group dynamics, particularly in professional or large social settings. The last point that I want to share would be join or leave without trace. A more advanced feature could allow people to join and leave groups without trace where no notifications are sent for either action. This would give users full control over their participation and visibility in a group chat. These changes have been developed to prioritize user autonomy, minimize social pressure, and maintain a healthier digital environment. I've been your host, Lawrence E. Dem. Until next week, God bless. Goodbye.